now we will get the code from uh, serverless example repository this is the official github repository which will have all those examples with the different uh, aws components and different uh, programming languages just copy the link and we will clone that repository the example which we are looking for is aws node uh, rest api with dynamo db um we will just get that yeah node rest api with dynamo db yeah this is the, this is the example we are going to see i have just imported the code in visual studio code uh, this is the serverless yaml file which will have all those uh, details like provider name runtime what are all the lambda functions we are going to create and what are the roles which are going to um, provision and what are the resources like db and what is the table name all those details will be there in this serverless yaml file um, before we push pushing the code we have to mention this region uh, to which region we are going to push the code if you go to the aws management console in the link you can see uh, which region we are in we are in the mumbai region that is ap south one we will have to mention that uh, region over here and also um, what is the user yeah the profile is serverless admin this is the user which we have created earlier yeah that's it in uh, yaml file and if you go to the api files one second yeah we need to include a few libraries yeah the aws x-ray sdk to trace all those codes Yeah, we'll just include in all those files we'll just come on the earlier one these are all the apis we are going to create the basically the crud operations the list include and comment it out and also the update we have just imported all those required libraries but um, we did not install it yet uh, we will install that aws x-ray sdk now if you go to the official document um, this is the library which we need to install aws x-ray sdk just install yeah now all those libraries are installed now uh uuid is not installed yet okay we have two dependencies one is the aws x-ray sdk and the uuid i'll just give in npm install so that uuid will be also get installed yeah now we are done with the code